Okay, so uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to fill out the side of the head a little bit just to kind of make it look a little better. Um, it will start to add to it, and you know, at the moment, it does look a bit odd because there's a big kind of gap on the side of the head. So I'm just going to pull it in. I'm not going to worry too much about the top of the head just yet. Uh, I want to kind of focus on the side area here. So again, sort of with edge selected, with these edges selected, this one, I'm just going to drag that across. And I'm going to target weld this point to that point just there. like so and just pull that out a little bit as well what you kind of want to do you know with these edges that you're creating is these are going to kind of flow around the side of the face and go right the way down towards the bottom the top of the neck and the jawline so you want to kind of change the angle of these so they're kind of going down like this that's essentially you know the kind of flow that you want so if I just kind of demo that a little bit here if we select these three shift and drag across again make sure you're pulling it out because you want it to kind of add a bit more um, volume to the side of the cheek because it's looking a little bit flat um, and then just kind of target weld this point just there like so and just kind of smooth that out a little bit again keep checking in your perspective view I'm thinking that this kind of middle edge just here is a little bit too narrow I want to kind of pull that out a little bit more so I can just select that whole group of vets just there pull those out like so Again, make sure you're pressing Alt and X so you can have a look uh, and ensuring that you are modeling in the right way and that you know, you're know you following the right uh, edges, I guess. Like so. I just want these to follow this area because, you know, the cheekbone is quite defined. Um, so you want to be careful and make sure that you know you are following that curvature of the face okay so the next step is I'm just going to kind of control and select all of these drag them out like so and then target world if you find that the gap's kind of becoming a bit too big here, you, know, you can just kind of input another edge, but you know I'll go over that a little later. Let's just leave it really low poly for now, and I'll show you if you come over that issue, then I'll show you how to put in a new edge and how to make that area look uh, a little bit more smoothed out. We could quite simply, in fact, we could uh, select all of these edges here and just kind of pull those down a little bit like so and then pull these down slightly just to spread them out a little because you know you may find that they're a little bit too close together just like that it makes a head look a bit narrow but you know I'll worry about that a little later. I've kind of brought those a bit closer so it does look a little better now. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to kind of go down towards the cheek a little bit. We're going to kind of go down and start moving on to the edge of the lip so 
So again, just by holding uh, control, we're going to select these three. In fact, you can go all the way down like that. Hold uh, shift and drag down like that. And pull it in a little bit just to follow again the curvature of the face and you know you can kind of see how that's forming we've got this kind of curve which is flowing all the way down it's looking good and then we can kind of focus on on the nose area we can select these four edges shift and drag down ensure that you follow the shape of the nose as best as you can and it's really important at this stage that you stop where the nostril kind of begins the sort of top edge of that nostril like that and then of course we want to target weld this edge onto there like so You know, you want to kind of sort of widen these as well because the nose, of course, is getting wider, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so you want to kind of ensure that you're creating that kind of shape. So you're kind of getting the nose area like that. If you find that, again, it's kind of looking a little bit too wide in certain areas, you can pull some of these points back, like so. And you want to kind of loosely go around uh, the nostril sort of area, you want to kind of follow around the nostril area. And if you, if you find that, you know, this point here is on the inside of the nostril there, you want to kind of make sure that it's lined up the same way in this view. I know it looks a little odd, but trust me, it will um, add to the model and it will make it a lot cleaner and a lot better as well. So if I just do that at this stage. What I tend to do from this stage is I kind of create the front of the nose. So I just hold shift and I drag down. Again, her nose kind of widens quite a lot at this stage. Just pull that out, shift and drag down again. Make sure you're following that blueprint. And then just drag that in so it's hitting the nostril just there. Drag down. Just follow that shape again. And you're just kind of continuing this until you kind of get to the area where the nose meets the top of the sort of lip area. I guess I could call it um, and then you'll have something that looks similar to this and from there you know it's pretty straightforward you're going to be dragging that down um, probably twice just so you can kind of create this curve so once there uh, once there again like I said mine's pretty low poly so don't worry if it's looking a little blocky at the minute and of course the inside of the of the lip of this kind of area just here it's not going to be pointing out is it it's going to be pointing in so I'm just going to drag that in like so and then kind of move this whole area forward because I want to make sure that it is kind of lined up in the right kind of area and just move that back slightly too okay so let's just quickly add a smoothing group to that area Oh, make sure you don't auto smooth. Don't know why I pressed that. I want it on smoothing group one. And if we just get rid of the sort of edge there. And quickly add a smoothing group to this too. Kind of see how we're getting there. Again, you know, in the next video, I think what I'll do is I'll tweak up the areas that look wrong. Um, but yeah, just follow on to the next video and I'll show you a few more things.